my chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out then hello youtube and welcome back to the channel so for today's video we are going to be doing something a little bit different although we are going to be talking about one of my favorite topics which is handbags i have always been a handbag girl i've been known as the handbag queen and i've been known for my purses so i did a handbag collection not too long ago and i will post that in the cards but some things have switched from that video. So I thought for today that we would rank my current handbags. So we are going to be doing a ranking system and I have that pulled up in front of me. So if I turn this way, that's why. So at the very top is going to be those bags that I will absolutely never sell. They're a closet staple for me. Then below that we have obsessed and not planning to sell. So it's just a little bit below the absolutely never selling, but chances are I won't sell it. And then we have cute might sell, which is a category where I like the bag at the moment, but I don't know if it's one that's going to stay in my closet for a long time. And then we have rarely use, but never sell which kind of sounds obvious even if I don't use it I probably will not sell it because it holds some kind of value for me and then the last category is probably will sell which again is self-explanatory so I have my handbags right here I have quite a small collection compared to what I used to have a long time ago but I've like curated these down into what I really want. I think back then, and this is even before I started my YouTube channel, I think I just had handbags to have them, even though like I would like them in the moment, I never really stopped and really thought about them. And I've been trying to do that now. So that's why my collection has dwindled, but I'm hoping that it will pick up a little bit but that I'll add pieces that I really love and not want just because of what brand it is or if it's trendy at the moment so with that let us get into it so I'm just going to be reaching for these as I can grab them it's not in any particular order that because that would make sense but first we have my pride and joy so you can probably already tell which category this one is going to go in but this is my louis vuitton montaigne bb and i i love this bag this has been a dream bag of mine for quite a few years i remember seeing it in the louis vuitton store in charleston when i went back 10 years ago and I thought that it was a pretty design. And then I'm an avid dance mom's watcher. And uh, Jill, one of the moms actually had this size. And I was like, that's a really good size for the bag. And then has it been two years, almost two years ago? I think I bought it for myself and I love it. It's already starting to patina on the sides and I do try to baby it, but also I don't want to be afraid to use it because I love it so much. So there is a little bit of water spots on it, which I know some Louis Vuitton people out there might be going, <gasps> but the leather is going to patina anyway. So you know i mean it, it's going to happen so why not enjoy the bag while it's happening but i think i'm actually going to switch back into carrying this bag so i'm going to leave it out but of course if you couldn't tell this bag is going into the absolutely never selling closet staple category because i mean it is a staple for me i love it so much it matches my outfit today. Huh. 
So this is Kate Spade Mayfair Drive perforated bag in City Fog. And this bag is very, very special to me because I, well, my mom let me purchase this bag when I was in Washington, D.C. back in 2014 doing an internship and study thing. I have a whole video on that. I'll link it in the cards. It's quite old, so I may not have articulated myself as well as I do now. But anyway, I went to the Kate Spade store in Georgetown. I would walk into Georgetown quite a lot just because of shopping me. Hello. And I walked in the Kate Spade store and there were quite a few bags that were so pretty. And then I saw this one and I just put gasped when I saw it because I was obsessed and I still am with like the 50s style handbag and I was also obsessed with bows and bow ties at the time and I don't know if you can see the pattern on it but it's bows and there's bows up here so I talked about it with my mom I called her and I said I need this bag like I need it you don't understand I need it and since I was taking classes at George Mason University I had a ID card and I was able to get a student discount on it so I got it and this bag went with me to have a briefing at the Capitol building so it has seen the floor of the Capitol. I couldn't take it inside obviously but they what but we took it inside enough to set it in the floor and then go farther in so yeah I love this bag. Um, I don't wear it as much as I would like to because the only, or one of the only downsides to this is it doesn't have a crossbody strap, so it's not comfortable to carry. So some of these I might put in different category. Uh, this is my category. What am I talking about? I'm running this show. So I'm gonna put this in the absolutely never selling closet staple as well as rarely use but never sell just because this is a staple in my closet but I don't tend to reach for it as much just because of it not having a handle but I might carry it in December because this looks like a very wintry like Christmassy bag without being so Christmas if that makes sense but that's that one and I love this bag so so much so i guess i'll stick with the kate spade top handle theme just for now and we'll talk about this bag this is the kate spade romy in the black color and again i really like this bag but i love the little detail here of like it's a heart and then you turn it into the spade and that's how it opens and also, look at that interior. It's so pretty. And then this has two different leathers on it, which I found really interesting. It's got like this pebbled leather on the front and then the back is more of like a smooth leather. And it has a pocket. What are you doing in there? I've got the care book in there, okay. And it also has a shoulder strap, but I have keep it tucked in to the bag when I'm not using it but I have used this bag quite a lot and you can see like the scratches and stuff on it and I really like it I like the way that the handle fits I like the look of it the fact that it has a shoulder strap on it it has a back pocket on it but, and there's a part of me that's wanting to keep it because I carried it to the interview for the job that I currently have. But also I have my eye on other bags that are kind of shaped like this and are black. And so I'm kind of thinking if I'm going to upgrade into a different designer, I don't need to have like the same kind of bag and different designers. Does that make sense? 
So, for right now, I'm obsessed. I'm not planning to sell, but if I ever get my hands on those that I'm thinking about, it might move into the cute, might sell category. But I really do like this. And I got it for like almost half off. So it's definitely got its, like I've got my money's worth from it. Bad boy. This is my Gucci Marmont small tote. I just got this, was it this year? Yes, yes, it was this year. And this is another, favorite of mine. I love the little GG detail on it and the inside has like that microfiber suede type thing and I've got it okay. I've got a the shoulder strap in there and a bag organizer but I mainly keep the organizer just to keep the, for the bag to keep its shape. Um having carried this bag one thing i don't like about it is it is quite hard if you unzip it all the way which is how i normally carry it because i need to get in and out of my bag easily which one thing about that i don't like is it kind of loses its shape on the side so that's why i keep it zipped when i'm not using it so it would keep that shape but when you zip and unzip it you have to hook that through there and then pull it for it to zip up and also it is a good size but also if you have it closed like this it becomes difficult to put stuff in like you have to pile stuff on top of each other and I don't really like that in a bag but I do really enjoy this. This is a great crossbody bag if you have more stuff that you need to carry than what can fit in like a normal little crossbody bag. So this one, even though I do really like it and it's one of my favorite Gucci pieces that I have, it is going to go in the obsessed, not planning to sell category just because it doesn't have my heart the way that my Montaigne does. So, there's that. Here is the bag that I am using now. And you can tell because it is quite heavy and has a bunch of junk in it. But this is the Coach Shea shoulder bag or Hobo. I don't remember which one. There's like one that's a smaller size and then there's this one. But I don't remember if the smaller size is named differently or not but anyway it's just this army green color it's got coach written on the side there and like a dark metal and then it's got this shoulder strap and it also comes with a detachable strap that you can make it like a longer shoulder bag or a crossbody but honestly i just use this thing as a hobo bag so i don't use that strap strap and then on the inside it's got a zip pocket and two pockets you know how coach nor bags normally are i really like this bag i think or i did a what's in my bag video with this and i talked about how i've been needing a hobo bag and i've wanted one in army green and i got an amazing deal on this on poshmark but I'm not in love with it. Like if there was another hobo style bag that I found that I like absolutely fell in love with, I would probably sell this, which I wouldn't get that much money for it, but whatever, in order to make room for another hobo style. So this one, even though or I have used it ever since I got it, which has been about a month or two maybe so i've used it quite a lot so i will put this in the cute might sell category all right so one of my vintage pieces this is from my mom's closet she passed this down to me so it is a gucci 
Boston bag. And it's so funny, they actually, they still sell this style and we actually saw it in the Gucci store when I went to get my Gucci bag. And it was just crazy to see how similar they are, but also how different it is too. But I really love this bag because it is from my mom and it did come with a crossbody strap, but my mom doesn't like crossbody straps. So I went on Amazon and I purchased one that was kind of like the webbing on the front so I can carry it crossbody. So it's kind of become like the speedy bandolier for me. I want to get either a base shaper or probably just like a whole organizer to stuff in here just to try to get its shape back to it. But I don't reach for this as often just because this is from the 80s and you know it's still functional it still works but the inside is peeling like every time I put stuff in there like if I have a book and I put it in here the stuff comes off of the book and I mean it's held up really well for its age but it's also showing its age a lot so that's why I don't tend to reach for it as much but I might bring it out in December because this also kind of has like a different Christmassy feel to it but this one will go in both the obsessed not planning to sell and also rarely use but will never sell just because this is from my mom I couldn't imagine selling one of her bags all right another one of my mom's vintage Gucci's I don't know the name of this but it's just like an envelope style and it has a crossbody strap on it I'll get that out because it's easy so it's just like a little messenger envelope style sorry I don't know the name of it but maybe you'll be able to screenshot this and try to google search it and find it um what I like about this bag is it actually has in the inside zipper, it's got the, the if I can get it, the little Gucci emblem. And then it's got that, I think this is the same type of inside that the other Gucci bag does has. And then the inside of the zipper has like a fabric lining. And I forgot to say, my mom got the other Gucci bag in an actual Gucci store in Chicago. And then this one she got in like Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom, something like that in Chicago. And she was with my grandmother when she purchased it. And my grandmother was like, you better not tell your dad how much you spent on that bag. I think she said it was like $300. Like, which I know that, you know, inflation and stuff, but could you imagine paying $300 for a Gucci, like, new in the store? That's crazy to me, but, yeah. This bag, I don't carry as much, or I haven't carried as much as the other one, because the way it's shaped, you can't really fit that much stuff in here, so I carry this when I need a crossbody bag that I don't really need a whole lot of stuff. Like, mostly I'll just put my wallet, my phone, and my keys, and like what lipstick I'm wearing that day if I have makeup on, anything else I might need, and then I'm good to go. So this one will go in the rarely use but never sell, but I am obsessed with this again just because it came from my mom and it has that history with it. I would say besides the two Gucci's, yeah, this is the oldest bag that I have in my collection or I should say this is the oldest one of my bags that like originated from me this is the Mark by Mark Jacobs Hobo Hillier bag the regular size do you remember when these or like anything Mark by Mark Jacobs was all the rage back on YouTube that's when I got this bag and now it seems to have made a comeback with the tote bag which he's done a Wizard of Oz collection and I've been good because there hasn't been any one of the bags that I've, I've been like, I need it. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I 
actually bought this bag for myself for my high school graduation present. I pulled all the money that I got and this was my gift to myself. I bought it from the Marc Jacobs website and I've got the crossbody strap in here and this again is showing its age even though I take really good care of my bags but also you know it comes to point that you can't help it the bag will show its age like I've got it's got a spot like right here and some of the pebbledness has rubbed off here and here I don't know why but so this is a bag you can wear as a hobo, even though I don't really tend to do that because it sticks right under my armpit and it hurts. So when I carry this, I either hand carry it like that or crossbody it or just put it the shoulder strap on it and carry it just da da da. So I have conflicting feelings with this bag. I have carried it this past year and I want to keep it because of the memories of it, but also I, I don't know, like I don't know if it's worth keeping it and not putting another bag that I would really use in my collection over it, if that makes sense. So this for right now will also be in cute might sell but I might probably still sell it. I don't know. What do you all think? Should I keep it because of the memories? Should I let it go to get another bag that I really like? I don't know. So this may stay, it may go. Who knows? The last bag that we are going to talk about is my first ever Louis bag that I ever got. And that is this one. This is the Louis Vuitton speedy b in the 30 size and this is my baby i was so excited when i got this bag for my birthday my parents surprised me we went to charlotte to get it and i have a video on that had a horrible experience like th getting this bag and getting my montagne were like a 180 from each other as far as experience goes so I talked about that in that video, so I'm not gonna bring it up here, but I had originally went in to get the 30 size, but not with the strap because that's the one that I had always wanted. And then we went in, they didn't have that, but they did have the 35 and they brought it out and it was just way too big for my purposes. So then they brought the this one, which has the shoulder strap and I was like, well, you know, it's the size I want and I'll have that shoulder strap in case I want to use it. But if I don't, I can just either take it off or just not use it and, you know, carry it the way that I wanted to. So we got this one and that beautiful red lining, so beautiful. And I do have a organizer in there and I've got the, um, I've got the, keys in here I think in the zip pocket and then the strap is in there too am I ever going to get rid of this absolutely not because this was my first Louis bag I've always wanted this one and it was a present for my parents so no do I reach for this as much as I used to also no because the things that I've carried vary and this is kind of too big for everyday purposes so this would be more of like a travel bag like if you're going for a long car ride and need to keep your books and stuff together but you don't want to keep it in your purse that would be good for this and I do reach for it from time to time mostly in the fall just because with the red and everything it's a very fall color bag and I've got a little coach Cruella keychain on there but yeah I'm not definitely not going to sell it but I don't reach for it as much as my Montaigne and I am I would like to get the one that I originally wanted just to have it in my collection but again 
not going to part with this. So this one will be an obsessed just because it wasn't exactly what I went in for, but I'm not planning on sell. like definitely will never sell. Okay, so that wraps up my handbag rankings. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I think maybe later on I'll do like handbags I sold and why do I regret them type of video once I can like look through my past handbag collections and figure out which ones I have. I mean, I have a good idea, but I need to go back and look at some of the older ones so I can talk about why I sold them. But not in this video because this one is getting way too long and I'm going to have a fun time editing it. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see others that I film, I talk about designer handbags, I do fashion hauls, talk about tattoos, history, random things, stuff, anything like that. Basically whatever I feel like filming at the time. So if any of that interests you, make sure that you hit that like button down below subscribe if you haven't already and also check me out on instagram i'm a lot more active on there than i am on here although i am trying to utilize the youtube shorts that are on here that has been a really great feature that has been added and with all of that being said i will see you in my next video bye guys all that's left is a window to my soul. come and get it